I'm Madeline Harvey. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We are going to talk about connecting your voice. And I'll give you a hint. It's about getting the pressure in the right place. So if you've ever struggled with too much pressure on a chest voice, so it feels like you're pulling it up or yelling, or you have way too little pressure on your head voice, so your head voice feels really wobbly, we're going to fix that today. So if you like today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. So we're gonna run through quickly seven consonant groupings that allow you to experiment with your resonating chambers. And what we're looking for is getting the pressure in the right spot. If you have the pressure in the right place, what it's going to feel like is very natural and conversational. So it won't feel like you're out of your depth or it won't feel like you've got to overthink it and try to manage what register you're in. Because once the voice is pressurized, specifically your resonators, once they're pressurized, your voice can move freely. And that's, that's exactly what we're going for today. But notice how we don't have the piano pulled out. We're not gonna work with the piano today. I want you to investigate and explore how these sounds and sensations feel in your natural voice. Because I don't want you too concerned about the quality of your voice or if you are matching pitch. I wanna give you full permission to just have fun, explore, and feel what each of these consonants feels like in your bones. You're gonna to gravitate towards different sounds, possibly different sounds than me, because your interior chambers are different from my interior chambers. And so I wanna give you plenty of things to play with. But like I said, when you know that you've got a good spot and you've got a good consonant, it's going to be a nice, even experience for the voice. So we're just gonna hit the ground run, and here we go. We're gonna work with consonants. So, which means our emphasis is not going to be about the release of the vowel. We may have some vowel sounds in a sound, but it's not about how great it sounds. It's about getting the pressure in the right spot. So the first thing that we're gonna play with is a Z sound. So just try this for me. Zzz. Or if you need an S sound, sss. Feel how that really takes command and precedence over a nice lift from the diaphragm. And you should be able to feel a steady press in through the nose. Sss. Feel that? That's called back pressure. That's what we're looking for, Shug. So sss. just like that. It should feel nice, like there's pressure building in your face. That's it. So now we're gonna apply a Z sound, and we're gonna go high to low, like this. Can you kind of go, that's good. That means the pressure is not quite in the right place. So if that's, if you notice that that's you, just keep pressing. until you've got a more steady experience. So that's how I want you to experiment with it. Just like that, up and down, up and down, but do not be concerned about, uh, about how it sounds. Next sound, we have T and D. T, D. Now, doesn't have any voice to it. So we're gonna not use that, we're gonna use D. So we're gonna go duh, 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 duh. Almost like you're saying duh, but not duh. I'm not letting that release down into my throat. I'm trying to release it up into the mask. Duh, 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 duh. That's what I want you to play with. Just get the pressure. Feel that you can generate pressure on each D sound. Let's try a different thing. Right? 
Don't rush through it. Lots of spit, lots of spit. Good. Our next sound is B. B. So there's going to be a lot of pressure that will build on your lips. So if you are a chesty singer and like to pull that chest voice up, then don't choose a dark vowel like bo or a b or be. Think bright vowels that release upward like be or bam like that. Be. Be, 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 be. Be, 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 be. Be, 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 be. Be, 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 be. That felt amazing. Be, 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 be. Be, 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 be. Can you hear the pressure pressing down on each note? That's back pressure. That's what we're looking for. And it doesn't matter. I'd rather you experiment and play because you know where your wiggle spots are. And if you're just investigating in that, you can get the pressure in the right spot. But be less concerned about that vowel. We're not going, be. We're not doing that just yet. We're going, be. Be, 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 be. Notice how that B stops the sound between each release. In doing that, it allows you to build a little bit more pressure on each one. So that one's one of my favorites. Then we're going to go to V. This is a very pretty face, isn't it? This is very, very good if you have a weak head voice. So it's really going to beef up that head voice, but it's probably going to wiggle a little bit as you investigate where to place your pressure. So be very playful with me. It kind of closes it and keeps it closed. Okay, it doesn't release the sound like bad, what we just did. So go easy on this one. You don't have a solid release unless you want to go the, 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 but then it moves really slowly. So try to just keep it a V sound, investigating, sliding around. It's very weird and very wild, but it's very good to build that pressure. The next one is probably one of my favorites, and that's a G sound. So like G or goo or ga, but beware, it will build pressure almost exclusively in the throat. Just like the B built pressure in the mouth, the G is going to build pressure almost exclusively in the throat. So beware, if you are a, a belty singer and you're looking for more top blend, Again, go for more brighter sounds like Keep it conversational. Ooh, I may sneeze. Yep. Okay. All right, very good. So keep it very conversational. Notice I'm being more aware of how it's releasing into my head voice, but you can feel that the pressure is being generated in the throat because that's the shape of that G sound. I really love G. I really do. I heart it so much because it's pressure dependent. Everything is pressure dependent on the vocal cords. The pressure causes them to close, but where it's different is when you release the G on any vowel, it's going to release the larynx down. So it's going to really be a nice, um, a nice release of pressure in, in, in the vocal tract. Very good. So the last sound I want you to play with is a TH. Now this one is my fave, but it's very tricky to find the right placement for it. But it is my favorite. So it's like you're saying the name Thaddeus, but it's like that. Like that, that. So it's not like that, that, or it's not like that, 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 like a D sound. It is TH, like you're saying the word Thaddeus. Right? 
getting the voice connected by giving little units of pressure and getting the pressure in the right spot. So pick your favorite, guys. Investigate your bones. See how that stacks, how that feels in your face, in your vocal tract. The point of today's lesson is to get the voice connected. It's not to make it sound too pretty just yet. So get the pressure in the right spot. Investigate with your favorite consonant and let me know what you think. There you have it, guys. If you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. And I did just also do an entire full hour live on this topic. So if you'd like to check that out, feel free to click the join button below and become a member of this channel. As a member, you'll have exclusive access to all of our lives that we do every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. If that's too late, too early, or you're just working, like mostly everyone, that's okay. As a member, you'll also have exclusive access to our members only area with over 100 hours worth of voice lessons. So pick whatever you'd like to explore in that members only area. Again, click that join button. It's only $4.99 a month, um, that's US dollar, and your contribution helps to support our channel. That way we can continue to develop awesome content that's just for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.